Yes, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can boost your Depop sales by just adding measurements to your posts. It's so simple what you got to do. I'll be showing you how you can measure jumpers, t-shirts, joggers, trousers, everything you'd ever need to measure. Before we get into it, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It does massively help. All you're going to need for this is a tape measure like this. You could use one like this and be a build off, but it's going to make it a lot harder. You're better off just using one of these. But let's get into how to actually do it. As you can see, I've just laid it out on my bed. You could do it on a table. Works exactly the same, both a flat surface. That's all you're going to need for this. We're going to be doing three different measurements for the jumpers, and we're going to start with a body length which all you got to do is go from the top seam all the way down to the very bottom of the ribbon. As you can see, I've gone from the top seam, gone all the way down to the bottom of the ribbon. Really simple to do. I've got 25. You can see I'm a little bit off, but what I would do, just round it to the nearest inch or half inch, and this will give you your most accurate measurements. Now we've done the body length, let's get on to doing the arm length. I'm going to go from this arm. It just makes it a lot simpler because the tape measure just goes this way. But we'll go from the top where the body connects to the arm once again all the way down to the end of the ribbon which I got 20 and a half inches but as you can see I've gone from the top where the body connects to the arm all the way down to the end of the ribbon where I've got 20 and a half inches. Now on to the easiest one out of all of them. If you're going to use any one, use this one because this is the one that most companies use. If you see under the size guides for a lot of the items you might buy online, nine times out of ten they're going to use the pit to pit. They might call it something else but it is the pit to pit. You just go from one pit to the next literally as it says in the title pit to pit and i've got to call it 25 as you can see so so simple literally just going from one pit to the next and as you can see i've got 25 inches now you've learned how to do them three measurements you can now measure t-shirts jackets jumpers you can measure any type of top if you're interested where i got this jumper from the video will be in the cards i got it from a suede vintage bale really sick i'll definitely recommend buying from them i've got some really sick pieces and i've already made my money back now on to how to measure trousers shorts joggers everything if you're wondering where i got these from i got them from the pre-love kilo sale which i've also made a video on the link to that video will also be in the cards and in the description but the first measurement i'm going to show you for these joggers is how to measure the waist all you got to do is go from one side hold your tape measure and go all the way over to the other as you can see i've got 16 but obviously 16 isn't the waist because if you're feeling a 16 waist that's a little concerning what you got to do is times it by two and you'll get 32 which is the actual waist of these joggers literally just going from one side to the other and as you can see i've got 16 and just times in that by two will give you your actual waist the second measurement we're going to do for joggers is the total length it's as simple as it sounds it's the total length for the joggers and the measurements as simple as what it sounds like you literally literally go from the top and just go all the way down to the bottom and as you can see I've got 41 little close up for you going from all the way to the top just going all the way down the joggers to the bottom where as you can see we've come away with 41 and a half inches now we're going to do the actual leg of the joggers this is the measurement that you'd see say when you buy a pair of jeans when you see the waist and the leg this is how they measure the leg all you got to do you see where all the different stitches connect in the crotch go from there all the way way down to the bottom of your joggers and as you can see I've come away with 32 inches as you can see from the center of your crotch where everything connects all the way down to the bottom where you come away with 32 inches now onto the last measurement for the joggers which is the rise you don't have to do this measurement but it definitely helps it will definitely sell your joggers a lot quicker go from the very top of your joggers all the way into the inseam of the crotch again and I've come away with 11 inches as you can see I've gone from the very top of the joggers once again all the way down into the inside of the crotch where once again I've come away with 11 inches. If you made it to this point of the video you must have enjoyed it so please like the video and subscribe to my channel it massively helps. But there's going to be loads more Depop content like this, there's going to be unboxing videos, there's going to be custom videos, I've ordered another suede vintage bow so that should be coming so soon, I'm so gassed for when that arrives. So I'm currently a little low on stock on my Depop which is at Josh Fed Up. the link to that is in the description and if you want to keep up to date on what I'm uploading on my YouTube and even maybe get a sneak peek of what the next video is going to be, the link 
link to my Instagrams in the description and it's up on the screen now. I think you should go follow it. I think you like it. But I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to measure your clothes for Depop. As I said, this will massively boost your sales. It's so easy what you got to do. But please like, subscribe and comment down below any videos you'd like to see in the future.